Ladies and gents, this is going to be a good one. I got an incredible Pokemon to show off. I got some great shiny Pokemon. We got a lot to do. Let's go. And let's start things off with a shiny Genesect. Yes, sir. 1873. Did a Genesect raid. I've been trying to get a lot of candies. And how about we get some free ones with a brand new shiny Genesect for me, actually. This is the Chill Drive Genesect form, which is back in Pokemon Go. It hasn't been around much. And we got the shiny Dynagos. Here it is. One of my favorite shinies of all time. Genesect with the Chill Drive. You'd love to see that bad boy. Let's go ahead and Ivy check it. Three star, 12. 12, uh, no, 13, 12, 12. Not too bad. I will take it. Thank you very much. Finally got it out the way. I've been raiding a bunch, and I finally got this new shiny that I did not have, so glad I got that down. Genesect, how you doing, buddy? You guys know that Genesect and I go way, way back. And if you don't know, a few years ago, I got my first ever Shundo, and it was a Shundo Genesect. It was an epic moment that I will never forget, and it is synonymous with this YouTube channel. Uh, what an amazing moment, and what an amazing grab that was. And here is that Shundo Genesect in its full form. Double move, level 50, best buddy, max style. You already know it's a level 50 Shundo. It's one of the coolest, if not the coolest Pokemon I own. I am such a massive fan of Genesect. Since that moment, man, ah, life was just different. This was just such a great time. It's a moment I will just never forget. You can't forget your first Shundo, especially when it was awesome like that. I had thousands of people in the stream watching. It was awesome. And speaking of Shundo Genesect, I got a big surprise for you guys. I have been doing a lot of Genesect raids and I got something special. Check this out. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a 100% IV Genesect in our hands. This could have been a Shundo. I didn't even pay attention. I just saw the CP and I was like, wait a minute. This is a Hundo. This could have been a crazy moment. This would have been my second ever Shundo Genesect. But let's go ahead and grab this. We got 18 balls here. I'm going to be very patient. This is the Chill Drive Genesect as well. So it's a pretty rare one. First throw is going to be horrible. Okay, I might have to put this microphone down. Come on, Gilly. One, two, no way. Oh, he gets lucky. <laughs> so undeserving. The easiest Hundo Legendary, or sorry, Hundo Mythical Pokemon I've ever caught in my life. That was so undeserving. Down it goes. Ladies and gentlemen, yes, sir. Wow. 100% of each Genesect just like that. One ball is all it took. It wasn't a good ball either. It wasn't a good throw, but it doesn't matter. We made it happen. Hundo Mythical is... In the collection. That's incredible. That is awesome. I want a 50 max it right this moment. Obviously can't do that. I need to work on the candies. That's crazy. I was just thinking today while I was doing a Genesect raid, what if I got another Hundo? I need to get some more XLs. And boom, I get one. So there you go. Let me know in the comments if you guys have a Hundo Genesect. Again, this is the chill drive. So it's a rare, rare form of it. And we got the Hundo. That is incredible. Let's go. Now we can hang out with the Shundo Genesect. Now I got to go raid a lot. So let me, let me go raid a lot. I can't believe we did it again, man. Another 100% IV Genesec. This time with the chill drive. As you can see, I am working on it. I want to best buddy this. I want to 50 max it. I want to get it perfect. This is such an amazing catch. I can't believe I have another one. I already love Genesec so much because of our moment that we had together. And now we've created another one. Now, it could have been a Shundo. That would have been insane. And oh, that would have been a moment and a half. But I'll take a regular hundo, no problem. You guys know me, I love my hundos. I love those moments, I love clutching up. And we did with this epic, epic Pokemon. I don't know who invited me to this, by the way, but GG's if it was you, thank you very much. We need like 200 plus XL candy, so I gotta make sure to keep raiding. If you're on my friends list, please invite me to more raids. I need a lot more candies, but I'm so happy this is mine. Now I have two hundo Genesex, let me see this. Two 100% IV Genesex, how sick is that? One of them, the Shundo. And the other one we just got right here right now. Yes, yes, yes. We are firing off on all cylinders. You love to see it. And speaking of Genesect, I just took down another Genesect raid. We have 22 balls. Can we go back to back on shiny Genesect? No, sir. 1855. That is not going to be a good IV one. That's not a good throw. But as you guys saw with that hundo, good throws kind of don't matter sometimes. Still cannot believe that I got a 100% IV Pokemon from a raid on a bad throw. That never happens. I always have to fight and scratch and claw to get it. It was nice to have some extra luck on my side. Give me an excellent right there. Come on, Genesect. Come on, buddy. I'm wearing the hat for you, dude. I literally wore this purple hat, but um, got another excellent right there, by the way. I literally wore this purple hat just to celebrate this guy. Can we get four? Four excellence in a row. Genesect, what do you want from me? One, two. Okay. Listen, we got 22 balls. I'll give you 22 excellence if you want to, man. Don't mess around.
don't mess around. End this. End this. Thank you very much. Five excellence in a row. Down it goes. Very nice. Got some XL candies in there. We definitely need to stack up on those. IVs are horrible. Don't love to see that. 10, 15, 10. It is what it is. It was another chance. We got some candies and dust out of it. I am down. And here we go with another raid. 1897 is actually a good IV Genesec, but not the best one. So we can get a shiny check going. Obviously, we are going for XL candies again, so I'm going to be raiding a bunch. We got 20 balls and a non shiny 1897. Here we go again. Please be easy. Got a great. Here we go. Another great. Okay. Got to be better. Uh, okay. Got. That's not good. Excellent. And that'll do it. Genesec goes down. What do we get? What do we get? Five XL candies. Yes, sir. Down it goes. 1897 is a pretty good IV one. Uh, yeah, 15, 13, 13. That's a 91% IV. Doesn't matter. We have a hundo, but I needed the candy. So very happy we caught it. Thank you very much. And pretty random. We're going to do a Bombardier raid and not get the shiny. 1378 CP right here. This is actually one shiny I've never been able to get. I have done a good amount of these raids, but have not snapped. It. Let me know in the comments if you guys have it. It's one of those raid shinies that you don't really want to grind for because this Pokemon is pretty useless, I feel like, but it does have a shiny and I do want to collect them all. So down it goes, 1378 IVs, two star. Not great. I do want to see how many uh, raids. I've only done 13 all time, so I wouldn't say I deserve this, but I would like to get the shiny and never do this again. Now, another thing I want to work on today is all of the research. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Catch 25 Pokemon gets you a Pidgeot encounter, which can be shiny, which is awesome. That's a great catch. Good Stardust. I can't forget to claim this cup of tea time research because it ends soon. We have three encounters right here. Spritzy. Is it going to be the same encounters from the first page of research? No way, right? More lol. Okay, I guess it is. Come here, more lol. And then our third one was a a Grievard again, and then it'll end us off with a Sinistee. I mean, listen, I'm not mad at the extra Sinistee encounters, but the other stuff is pretty whatever. To be honest, there is Sinistee in Pokemon Go. Make sure I pineapple this. Need the gosh darn candies. Also, really, really hope it's the right form of it. Please don't be a phony. It's a phony form Sinistee. Remember, you are looking for the antique form of Sinistee, which makes it super, super rare. Kind of imagine it kind of like how it was hard to get the other form of Rockruff. You just kind of had to get lucky and get the right form so unfortunately another phony for us here we're looking for that antique though i still gotta evolve the synesty and finish the collection challenge uh i should probably just dump rare candies and get this done right should i yeah whatever i'll do it it's not gonna cost me that many candies bada bing bada boom 28 and let's do our evolution here evolving synesty for the first time ever to poltegeist isn't it poltegeist ladies and gentlemen pokedex evolution there is your boy poltegeist i got it right pokedex edition Polti guys, you love to see that. Yes, sir. 1289 CP. Down it goes, and we have now finished the collection challenge, which gives us another Sinistee, which we're also going to pine up again. Now, I wonder, is this going to be the antique form? Come on. No. It's another phony. And hold on. Speaking of Sinisty, we just got a raid invite from Fleece King. Let's see if we can join this. These raids are hard to get into, to be honest. Yes, sir. Okay. Let's give it another shot. Try to get the ante. Little clarification here. For those of you wondering why you're still seeing silhouetted Sinisty, even though you have one in your Pokedex, it's because you don't have the antique form of Sinisty. So make sure you guys keep on hunting. Try to get it if you guys care enough to. It is pretty cool because they're hard to get and they're random. Just because you do a raid with somebody and they get it doesn't mean you're we're gonna get it. So it's all about luck, and we're gonna try to get lucky here as we take down another Sinistee in seconds. Okay, see you later. Can we get lucky with Sinistee on raid number three? Probably for me. And listen, I'm just rhyming here. Don't, don't get mad at me. Down it goes right there. Give me all that good stuff. I should be focusing on Genesect raids, to be honest, but felt like doing this. Come on. 622. A Hundo would be also incredible to get as well. I don't know the Hundo though. One, two, three down that goes and it's trash 12 12 12 <laughs> cool it was worth a shot also a phony form so no luck there good stuff right there and speaking of good stuff obviously we had the genesect earlier but something else that's very awesome happened to me as well i hatched a shiny cleffa in pokemon go i believe this was one two kilometer egg and i got a shiny out of it listen Hatching shinies, no matter what they are, is always a very nice thing because they're not easy to get. I think about how many Pokemon I hatch a week and how many shinies I have from those hatches. The ratio is crazy. But here is that shiny at 348 CP. I don't remember the IVs on this. What is it going to be? 10, 10, 11. Second worst one possible. Clearly couldn't get too lucky, but <laughs> we did hatch a shiny Pokemon, so never going to complain about that. Very, very nice. How many Cleffas do I have? I feel like that's something I've just never checked before. Shiny Cleffa. Only two of them. 
forever. So that's a pretty great thing to get. Let me double check that. Yeah, just two shiny Cleffas in my entire career. Very nice. And you know what? Since we don't have enough XL candies and we can't 50 max that Genesec today, let's 50 max something else. I have a 100% IV Alakazam that I've been grinding candies for. I don't know why I didn't have enough XL candies, but I've been wanting to 50 max this bad boy for a long time. And now we can do that with 97 of them and 72,000 dust. Bada bing, bada boom. 100% IV best buddy? No, not best buddy yet. Level 50 Alakazam in Pokemon Go. And let's make this cooler. Let's give it a mega of what? Wait, before we do that, I want to give it a new attack. Let's give it a new attack as well. Why the heck not? Who doesn't love Alakazam? Absolute OG. Let me know in the comments. What's the best moveset? Because definitely not this. I feel like it's not that for sure. So let's do this mega evolution and see it in its full form. Got to work on making this a best buddy and mega maxing it as well. There is 100% IV level 50 mega Alakazam. That's something sick right there, dude. That is sick. For not being able to do the Genesect max out, this is a pretty good, pretty good thing to do as well. I'm okay with this. That's awesome. Heck yeah. Heck yeah, Alakazam. Yes, dude. What a great day of Pokemon. And that'll wrap things up for today. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you guys have not already. Let me know in the comments down below. What's your favorite 100% heavy Pokemon that you've got? Any Hundo legendaries or mythicals or whatever, obviously, is kind of where I'm hinting with that question right there. But man, oh man, things have been good. I've been enjoying the grind. Hope you guys have too.